I'm going to do a second Dr. Seuss book. Seuss book, sorry. If there's a locket in my pocket, and a finger in my window, and a nook case in my bookcase. Did you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket? Or a neuro in your bureau? Bureau? Neuro? that. Or a wasset in your closet? Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a curtain in the curtain. Sometimes I have a feeling there's a zlock behind the clock. The zelf up on the shelf, I have talked to him myself. That's the cow in the house I live in. There's a mink in the sink and a zamp in the lamp. And they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly, like the yacht in the pot. But the yodel in the bottle, some are friendly, some are not. I like the zapple on the table and the gare under the chair. But the bofa on the sofa, well, I wish he wasn't there. All those nutbards and cupbards, they're good fun to have about. But the new gush, groosh on my toothbrush, him I could do without. Only one I'm really scared of is the vug under the rug. And the quimney in the chimney, I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the zaw scoots down the hall. The yups on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. Like the teller and the neller and the geller and the deller and the beller and the weller and the zeller in the cellar. And the gilling on the ceiling and the zower in my shower. The zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you don't believe it. That's the kind of house I live in and I hope we never leave it. And that is There's a Walk It in My Pocket by Dr. Seuss.